How's it going friends? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a transparent image on a video on Vegas Pro. Now you might want to do this to, to make a watermark for your video, or you're just trying to put a picture over your video and make it see through, you know, make it transparent. Now, in order for you to be able to make the picture transparent, you got to make sure the picture has a white background, as you see here. Now this is the logo for, for my pranking channel. And I will post a link on the description of the video for this pranking channel. I've been wanting to tell you guys about it, but I do. I, a buddy and I actually made a pranking channel, and it's pretty funny. You guys got to check it out. But like I said, the image has got to have a white background, just like we see here. Okay, guys, very important. Now to do this, um, let's go ahead and add our video to the timeline, and then you select your picture and you add it also to the timeline. We want to add it on top of the video. So let's drag the video down one here, and there we go. So the picture's got to be on top of the actual video itself. And on, take your cursor and, and place it on the right-hand side right here of the picture. Place it on the right-hand side. You will see a little, you'll see your cursor turn into, um, into two arrow, arrows facing opposite directions and then you just slide it over and make it as long as what your video is okay and now we notice that we have the um, watermark on top of the video now that's way too big so we got to make it smaller what you got to do is um, click right here on this button here and that's the crop button we're gonna go ahead and click here click right there and there we go we got the crop button right click it immediately and click on match output aspect it's very important you do this because if you don't do this you won't be able to move it freely so right click and click on match output aspect perfect you want to zoom out a little bit so we go ahead and click on the uh, zoom icon here so click on that and we want to right click so we can zoom out I'm gonna right click a little bit more and now go ahead and click on the arrow key right here and now what you do is you grab and drag this thing actually first we got to make it smaller so we got to click on the uh, arrows here and it, uh, this is what I hate about this program it's supposed to shrink if you shrink it this way but instead it gets a bit it makes it bigger I don't know why Camtasia Studio is so much easier doing this but the thing about Camtasia is it slows down when you use too much big files. So Vegas Pro is perfect for using big files, but when it comes to doing this, man, is it a drag. So you click and you drag outwards to zoom it out. And we won't, until you get the size that you want. And now I'm just gonna click it and drag it to the right here click again and now drag it so now that we have it all the way to the right this program wants you to click right here so you gotta click on these arrow and this arrow icon here so you can go ahead and move it downward now if you notice right now it's set for left and right so when we click on it again, it'll set it for up and down. Now we can move it downwards, and there we are. Why do you gotta make it so complicated, Vegas Pro? But that's how you do it, guys. That way you guys know. That took me forever to figure out, just to let you guys know. But there it is. Now, the watermark is still white. The background is still white. So what you gotta do, and here's the secret, I had to dig on YouTube instructions to learn how to do this. What you go ahead and do is click on video effects. In case you don't know where video effects, it's right here. This is the video effects uh, tab button right here. You click on that. You look for chroma key. Chroma key is the name of it. I don't know why it turned blue. Let me zoom in again for you guys. So chroma key right here, that's the one you guys gotta use, chroma key. You select the default and you click and drag it down 
here. And you got to do a color match on here. So let's scroll down. It looks like I selected the wrong one. Like I said, it's chroma keyer. I selected color uh, match accidentally. Sorry, guys. So chroma keyer, drag and drop. Now we got this uh, color selection here. You select white or you slide this slider all the way to the left where the white is. We got to make it as white as possible. And there it is, all the way to the le top left hand corner. And if you notice, voila, our logo now is transparent, which is awesome. Now, this thing, make sure you put it all the way to the right. If you notice, we still have got this weird looking thing out here. So we want to go ahead and and fix that. I think that's as close as we're going to get. All right, yeah, that's as close as we're going to get. But that's still a lot better, guys. There it is. It's transparent. That's how you do it. You got to use chroma here, and then you select white as the uh, background uh, color, and it'll get rid of the white color for that watermark. And there it is. You can place it anywhere you want on the video, like I showed you. It's just Vegas Pro makes it a little hard to move it around compared to Camtasia Studio. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, comment on the comment section of the video if you uh, saw me skip something or, or you guys want to ask me for more tutorials on Vegas Pro, go ahead. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.